Hi, my name's Alison Gorman, the founder and teacher at Inkling Writing Studio, a creative learning space in Sydney where young people can learn the craft of writing. I'm delighted to be presenting to you on behalf of Randwick City Library, three short videos to inspire and to give you some helpful writing tips for the Lionel Bowen Young Writers Award. This year's theme is A City for Tomorrow, which is a timely and exciting theme. Now more than ever, we need young minds to creatively think about the sustainable cities that we need to live in in the future. Cities where we don't waste our precious resources, where we look after our environment, and most importantly, we look after each other. Many writers over time have imagined incredible cities set in the future in science fiction's novels and movies. Some of these stories have pictured quite dark or dystopian cities. Your challenge is to write a short story or poem about a bright, positive city for the future, a city for tomorrow. In our first video in the series, I'd like to take you through some helpful steps to start your writing adventure. The first stage of any writing project is called pre-writing. This is the stage where we read our theme a little more closely, we brainstorm the ideas that might already be in our minds, and we can research new possibilities. By looking at some of the amazing technologies that already exist, it will further spark your imagination. So let's start with the theme, a city for tomorrow. You've been asked to think about the challenge of sustainability in your piece of creative writing. What does sustainability mean? Well, simply put, it means we don't waste natural resources like coal and oil and produce more waste than our planet can manage. Instead, we follow the lead of the natural world. which works on a circular system where there is absolutely no waste. So for example, if we have a blossom from a true fruit tree, it falls to the ground, and then bacteria and fungi decompose the blossom, nutrients for the, make it into nutrients for the soil, which feeds the tree, the tree grows bigger, grows more fruit and blossoms, and so forth. So we're actually gonna think about creating a city that's circular like the tree. So in particular, you've been asked in this award to think about how will the transport in your city work? How will food and waste be managed? And how, where will the energy to run everything in your city come from? So now it's time to brainstorm. Grab yourself a big piece of blank paper and some textures. Start by drawing a circle in the middle of your paper, like I have here, and right in the center, a city for tomorrow. Think about, oh, grab a different colour first of all, and think about transport. So draw another arm off here. With your transport, you're going to think about what kinds of energy will power them and how they will avoid pollution. There are lots of incredible ideas about future transport already being developed. Driverless cars already exist. Driverless flying cars are on the drawing table. Um, can you imagine sitting, reading the paper and catching up on some work while your flying car gets you where you want to go? Imagine public transport capsules that are solar powered and run through tubes. And I'll just do PT for public transport here. You book them on your smartphone. No need for timetables. Whoosh, you're at school. The other thing I think which would be really important to think about is cycling and walking. These are fantastic ways of reducing um, traffic congestion in the city. So maybe your city is going to have these incredible suspension bridges with cycleways and walkways safely above the traffic. I'm going to keep talking you through. Grab your pen, grab a different colour. Um, 
while we go on to the next arm. The next arm could be energy. So keep drawing as I talk you through some of the ideas that I've thought of. So thinking about energy, how, where will all this energy come from to power your city? Imagine if every home had their own wind and solar power station, or perhaps we could have solar power backpacks where everybody made, uh, collected enough energy to run their own power. Perhaps there could be solar based space stations which help increase the Earth's ability to capture the rays. Um, perhaps your main character might wear a, a knee brace where they can collect energy from human movement. You can see that a little bit of research into some of the real possibilities can spark your imagination further. Keep going in this way. Um, you could add food and waste management um, to your mind map. You can see here that I've come with quite a full map. So we looked at managing waste. Perhaps the sewage in your, set, uh, in your city could be made into fertiliser for market gardens. Maybe your city's plastic free. Maybe it's a crime to use this plastic bag. Perhaps it's compulsory for everyone to have a worm farm. Um, what about if there were recycling kiosks which automatically were able to sort our waste into recycling categories? So there's a whole lot of different ideas here. Keep working through. I've added some other arms like architecture. I imagined beautiful buildings covered in plants which actually help our city to breathe. Perhaps they're naturally climate controlled with waterfalls. Um, other arms you might add on would be entertainment. Maybe we all can star in our own virtual reality movies. Maybe there are new sports like hoverboard racing. Um, work, communication, the possibilities are endless. So by the end of your mind mapping session, you'll have captured the very best of your ideas, which will help you move on to write your short story or poem.